be training legs, which is just like a, I don't know, I do it three times a week and I feel like I'm doing a lot of these on this video or on this channel, but that's okay because that's what I'm known for and it's something that I want to help you guys learn more about and give you ideas for your own training. So before we get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some pre-workout. I'm going to go for not a whole scoop because that would make me feel a little bit guilty, but I'm going to go for a, is that four quarters? Four quarters? <laughs> four quarters is one whole. <laughs> You've got one scoop. <laughs> but it's not. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, it's good. You want some? Let me try. Tell me what you think. I love the way you didn't put your mouth around my lid. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. At the end of today's video, because as I mentioned, I'm doing legs again and I seem to do legs a lot with these Prime Evil Labs videos, I'm going to give you a bit of extra, I don't know, ideas or exercises to do to grow your legs, so little tips and, um, you know, little extras to add on to the end of your workout if you want some ideas. So stay tuned for that and let's get into it. Last week I had a wider stance when I did this. This week I'm going to have a closer stance. This is going to put more emphasis on my quadriceps. You'll also notice that I am not stopping at the top, that I'm keeping constant tension throughout the movement, which is really going to pump up the quads. Now we're going to move into a Zercha lunge, meaning that the bar is going to be on my elbows here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to change the center of mass of where I want to feel my muscles. So I'm going to be feeling it in my upper back, a lot of pressure, as well as on my quads. As I'm lunging, I'll be pushing through the middle of my foot as well. So making sure I'm using all my limbs and getting a really good burn on. I want to aim for a pyramid type workout here. So I'm going to use the rep ranges between 20 going up to, or going down into 10. As you can see, starting at the top of the pyramid, going down because obviously I'm going to get exhausted and it's going to be a lot of reps overall, which is what you want. Up next is the leg extension. So for me personally, I have very underactive VMOs in comparison to the lateral side of my quad. So I like to start out pretty light and just, that's really <laughs> So I've got it on 50 pounds right now. So I like to start out light and just really activate this area first before I just jump into heavy leg extension. Um, I do this by like sometimes even tapping on the area to make myself mentally aware that they're there. And I just really slow down the movement and get the blood into the section I'm trying to work. So I do one to two sets of a warm up and they will range between 15 to 20 reps or until I can actually feel that VMO switch on. And there's a little bit of burn in my legs which means the blood's, the blood's in there which is what you want. So once you feel that, strap in, get ready, and let's do it. Because this is a machine-based movement, you can actually pump the reps up. You don't have to go, you know, between six to eight, unless it's like really super heavy, but then you're not really doing the work that you want to be doing, which is really pumping the muscles. So when you pump, you grow. really heavy I have to hold myself down whereas I feel really supported in this seat and I can kind of overload a little bit more than what I may have on the actual lying down leg curl um, each to their own but because I am little this is really well suited to me it's like jumping in a car putting my seatbelt on and just going so I recommend this machine for anyone who has little features Swing. I'm actually puffed because I've just done it. 
uh, it gets my heart rate up and it's going to work my hamstrings and my glutes. I actually have sore glutes from two days ago and it really hurt actually doing this. So you know it's working the areas you're supposed to work. So I aim for around about 10 reps with this. Once again, going in weight, up in weight as I go. And um, yeah, a really good finisher just to get that heart rate pumping. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Let me know what your thoughts are, if you wanna know anything else or see anything else. I'm gonna stick around for a little bit longer now and show you my tips to growing quads, because that's what I feel like I'm really confident at and I've really done, well I've really put in the work this year to do that myself. So stick around and check this out. What I'm gonna do now is show you a burnout on the leg extension machine. Obviously this is a machine that only does one movement, which is extension, so learning how to be creative with that and play around with your reps and your tempo is always a really helpful tip when it comes to uh, working the quads, so let me show you what I like to do. I'll put it on a decent, on a decent weight, so it's a bit of a challenge, and I'll start out with say eight reps. Now what I'm going to do is shift it down in weight, so 33 pounds for example, and what I'm going to do is now hold it up and release slowly. So just mucking around with the tempo, so slowing down the uh, eccentric movement. I'm going to go load it with more weight, challenge myself again, but this time I'm going to do a partial rep. So keeping it nice and low at the bottom and extending. Keeping that tension on the muscle. These are three different techniques that you can use. You can do these in cycles of like five sets and really fry these quads out. Make sure it's at the end of your workout because you don't want to do this at the start and then you can't do the rest of your workout. That would be pointless. But yeah, just finishing off strong and getting that blood into the muscle to the point where you might need a wheelchair out of here, yes. That's the point you want to get at. Just putting in the work and really pumping the blood through. This is what the burn is going to look like. So we're going to start off with the partial ranges, nice and heavy. Drop the weight. Full extension. Drop the weight again and then eccentrics. You can go around about 10 or if you really want to challenge yourself you can do 15, it's really up to you. It depends how hard you went in the session before this one. Either way you want to keep the volume nice and high. So I hope you enjoyed the tips uh, to grow your quads and the burnout that I just did, it was hectic. If you have any questions about that drop a comment, otherwise thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys really soon.